In today's video, I'm going to show you what happens when we ask ChatGPT to create a privacy policy template for us. See, I recently had a student ask me the question, hey, where can I get a privacy policy for my website? He wants to run Messenger Facebook ads or lead ads on Facebook, and Facebook requires that you have a privacy policy link from your website. So I asked ChatGPT to give us a hand. So here's what it came up with. When I asked, I own a small business, can you give me a template for a privacy policy that I can use? It says, sure, here's a basic template that you can use for your small business. And it started spitting this out. And it all looks pretty darn good, right? I did some uh, I did some reviewing of it and everything looks pretty good. But I noticed that it stopped right here in the middle of security of data. So I just asked it to complete the privacy policy because it stopped in the security of data paragraph. <laughs> ChatGPT apologized for the incomplete template and went ahead and completed the rest of the privacy policy. So that's pretty cool, right? So it finished the security of data paragraph as well as the rest of the privacy policy. Now I've looked at some pretty big service providers, websites, privacy policies, and this looks pretty standard issue. This compares very closely to what I've seen on other websites. So I feel pretty comfortable with using this. Now, I'm not an attorney and this is not legal advice for sure, but if you're trying to run Facebook Messenger ads or Facebook lead ads and you need a privacy policy page on your website, this'll get the job done. So I just went ahead and copied and pasted this information into a Google document. And now I'm just gonna take a few minutes to come in here and insert my company information in here and give this a quick proofread just to make sure it says what I want it to say. Now I use a website builder called Fast Pages 365 and I'm gonna show you how quickly and easily I can go ahead and add a privacy policy page to my website. Okay, so here I am in my website in the builder and you can see right here in the left hand menu, I can simply click on the pages icon and see all of my pages right here. Now, if I don't have a privacy policy page already, all I've got to do is click add new and page. And now I can come over here and click empty page and it'll create an empty page for me. Now I've already got a privacy policy page, so I'll just show you what it looks like. So basically all I did is add my global menu to the privacy policy page, and then I copied and pasted my privacy policy right in here with my business name in here loaded in wherever the template said, insert company name here. And I've got my contact information here at the end. So once I got the page straightened out here, as far as how it looks, I can simply come over here to the website settings icon and click the page SEO button. Now that's where I'm gonna be able to have my page title, a meta description if I like, I wanna add it to the site map, which improves the search engine indexing, and I also wanna click on the page info to make sure that information is correct as well. So now I just go ahead and click save, and now when I go to my website, all I've got to do is come down here and add to my footer section the words privacy policy. And you can see that information is right down here. So I just went ahead and created a block and put in the words privacy policy as you can see right here. And then you can hit the little menu that comes up when you're highlighting some of the text in your block that just says link. So now that link is gonna open up this select a link menu box where I'm gonna make sure it says it's on the page selection. So it's in the page group of pages and it's on the page named privacy policy. It's gonna open in the same tab and I wanna make sure that no follow link is unchecked. Then I just go ahead and hit select. So now when people are on my actual website, they can come down here and click that privacy policy footer link and there is my privacy policy. Now I can just simply take that privacy policy link right here and copy and paste it and put it into my Facebook ad. So I've just shown you how to use ChatGPT to help you create a privacy policy so that you don't have to spend a bunch of time figuring this stuff out on your own. Just go ahead and adapt the template for your use and then use your web page builder to go ahead and create a policy page and put the links down in your footer section. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Or if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section.